one thing above all else is clear. If the Sword Coast is to find any measure of peace, Kalar Argent must be stopped. What an experience that Temple to Baal was for me personally, what the old priest of Baal woman said to me, and then my encounter with that thing that was making the voice I was trying to take over. I've only read a little about what we call mind flares, but they specifically call themselves illithids. The images it put in my mind had meanings, some words too. It's hard to explain. I think this is a sort of ability, like magic, but called psionics. Dine here had to remind me what the name of that kind of power is. Regardless, I am very glad that there was only one of them, but one of them had so much power over its minions and was trying to control everyone in the temple. I hope to never encounter their kind again. If I had to fight many of them at once, they might very well destroy us, but it was a learning experience, one I will not easily forget. We now return to the Crusader camp in the hopes of being let inside. Once we are, I will see what we can learn about them, and now that we have the ability to use the portal to get into the fort that is under siege, we can see their situation and then really get a handle on everything and hopefully use that knowledge to defeat the Crusaders here. As Gorion taught me, knowledge is power, but what I have learned on my own is that using that knowledge, wisely, is godly. Okay, we made it back to Borskir Bridge. The embodiment of the rewards born of dedication. Thou art wise to see this, and kind to say it. Hello, again. Something you need? Um, your patrol has been rescued and should have returned by now. They have, and Karim told me who was responsible for the rescue as well. You have done the crusade a good turn. I'm sure Lieutenant Karim will want to reward you. You'll find him in the camp beyond. May the light shine always upon you, friend. Found a way into the crusader's camp. It seems that Donahair has become more skilled. Um. Uh, for now, I think this is a better. She believes breach is a better spell. I guess we run into any more mages. Such menial tasks. Okay, who is Karm? Well, Such Karm was a dwarf, tasks. so I assume this fellow is Karm. You. Who are you? Um, I'm the person who found your nephew, sir. That's right. He described you. The idiot needs a permanent bodyguard to look after him. Still, I'm grateful. Here's a token of my appreciation. Is there anything I can assist with, sir? I have every available crusader searching for a ward stone. They say it got stolen from the fort and that it'll give us a way inside. If you find it, get it to me, and I'll give you an even more important mission. Oh, he wants me to... Sounds like he'll give it to me to go in inside the fort. And we know where to go, too. Okay. If that's the what case, I found the ward stone. What? We've been searching everywhere for that ward stone. You've proven yourself to me, soldier. I have a mission for you. That ward stone will activate the teleport circle on the fort's eastern side. We can't get all our troops in that way, but you and a small contingent might be able to get through. And once inside, we could lower the drawbridge, giving the rest of our people access. Will you do it? Um... I will, sir. Good. Move them out. <laughs> Uh, just hold on. I'd like to see who's here. Fine. Hello. Uh, what you want? Uh, I'm Orin. I joined Kalar this past week. Gods, there's too many damn people joining this bloody thing. Okay, okay, I'm Munch. Delgar Munch. Right hand to Colonel Cordell. What are you doing now? Um... What the general told me to, or I was until you stopped me. What's your name again? That sounds about right. Be about your business, then. <laughs> oh. Orcs and kobolds. Hobgoblins. A knoll. Won't get much Such intelligent conversation tasks. out of them. Hello again, Karim. 
Hey, it's you. Thanks again for freeing me. I'm not allowed on patrol for a month, so I guess it all worked out for the best. <laughs> Hello? Your acquaintance I am glad to have made. You look lost. If you need something to do, talk to one of the commanders. Hello? May Kayla's light shine always upon you. Oh. A simple matter. A lot of people are looking to this person as a very important part of the Not question channel. my orders. It is time, Hormorn. It is, my guest. Thank you. And welcome to you, noble and worthy servants of Kalar. You know why we are here. To receive the blessings of the gods. To feel the divine light shining within you. You can feel it, can't you? In your hearts, in your very souls, you know, you know, we walk a righteous path. That path will take us to the darkest place. The most hideous of devils we will face, but we know no devil shall harm us. We do the will of the gods. We do the will of Kalar Argent. Our victory in this realm and every other is assured. Thank you, Hormorn, and thank you, servants of the Shining Lady. Return to your task, secure in the knowledge that we have the favor of the gods. Is yes, that that a was? simple matter. Wow, these people really believe what they're doing. I find that hard to believe, but it's self evident all around me. Okay, well, let's see what else is here. Such menial tasks. Guarding the gate. Halt. Out. Come no farther. Not, not even a little farther. Come on, a little farther won't harm anyone. Kayla has decreed none shall pass. Hmm. Well, far be it for me to question the shining lady's orders. Farewell. Go forth in the light, sister. Hello. May Kayla's light yes. shine always upon you. I already said that. Oh, there's a wizard over here. It looks like a red wizard of thing. Fine. Hello? What is this? Why do you disturb my meditations? Who are you? You have the honor of dressing Vikan, Red Wizard of Thay, loyal servant to the Shining Lady, Kalar. You are a wizard. Have you any magic items for sale? Do I look like a merchant to you? I'm a researcher and spellcaster, not a trader. Uh, I see. In that case, I have nothing more to ask. Then leave me be. I must uh, meditate. Okay. A simple matter. Let's see what else is. Oh, gold. Well, they wanted alcohol, but I don't think they wanted just a regular bottle of wine. Those irregulars. What's this? The Troll Tender's Journal. Someone has cobbled together this journal from scraps of parchment and leather, much of it previously used. The new author has crossed out notes on supplies and troop movements and added comments in a scrawled, almost incomprehensible hand. Entry 1. Humans want to pay Mif to kill other humans. That's a good thing, methinks. This camp full of magic humans who want to tell Mif about their gods may not care about anyone but Yinogu. But let humans talk. Tall officers say his name, Moral. Teach Mif to make prop... Make words on paper. Practice every day. Miff. Miff writes lots so far. Now Miff writes about me and stupid humans. Give me lots of gold to kill other humans, then take gold back to pack. Entry 6. Leader of humans shine like sun. Her name Kalar. Kalar wants to talk trolls. Ask me to take trolls. Miff say no. Trolls eat us all. Kalar put her hand on Miff's shoulder. She say all creatures, gnolls, and stupid humans and trolls can serve her light. Kalar's voice, nice, but her words make no sense. Miff is not in light. Trolls will eat us. Entry 8. Miff was right, and Kalar was right. How can both be right? Trolls came out of cave, ready to eat us all. Then Kalar talks about her light, promises gold and food. Some trolls think this is good, like Miff did. Get lots of gold and take it back to pack. Then other trolls yell and say, no, stupid. Say Kalar is making a trap. Trolls fight each other, try to eat us. Kalar tries to stop them. Say, wait, listen to me. Trolls don't listen, just fight. 
Myth helps kill a troll and sets it on fire, but steals an arm to eat. Very stringy. Kalar and other humans put nets and chains around trolls. Now they locked up in camp. Kalar tells the brother Heffernan she is sad. She say, my arrow gants cause many innocence death. Brothers say it's not Kalar's fault, but Myth think maybe it is. Entry 20. Big ceremony tonight called the lightning, but there was no lightning. Just a big fire, and we all chant. Brother started, and we said what he said. People yelled at that they saw light. Myth didn't see light. There was a light inside, though. A fire in Myth's chest felt hot and strong. Kalar came out, and her eyes were like fire. Maybe trolls should have said they work for gold. Entry 24. Kalar marched us to Old Castle. She came to Myth and put hand on shoulder again. She smells good, but not like prey. Strong. She said, Myth, I am counting on you to keep trolls in a line. The fire lit up aside again, like the lightning night. Me made sure trolls all walked very straight. None eat us. We stopped to camp and Kalar said, Good job, Myth. Pack never say good job, Myth. Entry 30. On our way to Castle, we pass by Myth's home. Pack hides in hills. Pockets are full of gold, but me not go to pack. They don't have fire inside, and if Myth left Kalar would be sad. Who look after trolls? Myth has important job here. Myth not let Kalar down. She's now convincing trolls. By the gods, I never thought I'd see that. You again. What do you want? Speak quickly. I have no time to waste in the likes of you. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry to bother you. A simple matter. This. Oh, we could use this. Plate. Full plate armor. Girdle piercing. Healing potions. Ring of protection. Enough of those. Some kind of magical sword. Let's sort that away. Got here. Who in the group could use this? I guess you can. It's better protection. And with that ring. That work for you too. It does. Okay, so Glint can use it and he doesn't have to sneak, so there's no point in we could just sell this actually. If we ever find a vendor. But so far I was seen no vendor here. What? A simple matter. Move yeah. out of the way, Miss. Fine. Dorn, is that you? Let us out, free us, elf. Open these cages, open! Ignore the trolls. You're nothing but meat to them. I, however, have more to offer, if you release me. Dorn Il Khan, I never thought I'd see you caged. What happened? What are you doing here? No, I don't care. Open the cage. Free me. And us. Let us out too. Silence, vermin. Sentient creatures are talking. What are you waiting for? Release me! <laughs> Perhaps I will after you tell me how you came to be in that cage to begin with. I was captured while attempting to slay the revered brother Hormorn, priest of Kalar. I did not anticipate the one they call the Barghest interfering with my mission. Hmm. <laughs> the Kalar is no goddess. She has no priest. Why would you seek this Hormorn's death? I do the bidding of my patron, Urgothos. Twas he who demanded Hormorn's death. I failed him. Oh, to what end? My master did not see fit to tell me his plans, and I am not so fool as to question him. All right. You'll find a Flaming Fist camp southeast of here. Tell them Orin sent you. They'll take care of you until I return. You freed me from my cage, and that is no small thing. I'll forgive your insolence, this time, when we meet again at this camp you speak of, do not be so imprudent as to try and command me again. Whatever, you're free. Get out of here. I think that I have his equipment. Oh, oh well. Okay. Well, I don't think that there's anything else we can accomplish here. I haven't... S they don't have many spellcasters, just... And they're fighting with the fort across the way, shooting arrows and crossbow bolts. Let's get out of here. Let's go into the fort. A simple matter. What is in here? A gem. 
girdle of piercing. We could probably use that as well. Back to the fort, or back to the fort, to the fort. They want us to open the bridge. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's see who's inside and defending it. The teleport circle glows with arcane energy and teleports us. I hope this is the fort. Khalid, we have company. What is this? What's going on? Wait, Jahira, is that truly you? Has it been so long that you no longer recognize your wife? Perhaps not, but it felt like an eternity. My friend, tis good to see you. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, a Fleming Fist Company and I have come to liberate Bridgefort, then move on to Dragonspear Castle. Th that is excellent news. We are almost at the end of our resources, and your help will be invaluable. Let me tell you what's happened. Go ahead. Jahira and I came north to find a peaceful place to spend time together. When the Crusaders hit Bridgefort, we were separated. Since I have the most experience, I took command here. Khalid, I know that you and Jahira are Harpers. Do you really expect me to believe, me to believe that you're here by coincidence? I, I, I don't know what you mean. We were just looking for a picnic spot. Oh, come on now. B -b Blast! I can't lie to you. The Harpers had word that the Crusade might be heading this way. They sent us here to intercept the Crusade and delay them until the Flaming Fist arrived. Indeed, I found myself at the helm of a fast sinking ship, if you know what I mean. We were instantly besieged and trapped inside. The Crusaders seek the supplies we hold here. Our situation is this. At the front doors, we have scores of Crusaders who have barricaded the bridge. They call their leader the Bar Guest. With the Flaming Fist company you've brought, we might stand a chance in a direct fight. Hmm. Very well. I will bring the Fist from the east. Your forces will strike from the north. We'll crush the camp between us and then proceed across Borskir Bridge. I value your opinion. Take a look around the fort and see what we have to d deal with. Then tell me which course of action you recommend. Start with the wizard Wynan Hess. You should find him in the rear of the fort. He knows the state of our defenses. Also, talk to Jeg Hillcarver, our smith. She can tell you about our s supplies. I'll seek out Hess and Hillcarver immediately. Thank you. Fate has smiled on us by sending you here. Oh, it's nice to be so welcome. Shut up! Nira? That's me in your past. Nira? Uh, oh. I mean, hello. Hi. Hello. Wait a second, I know that voice. No, not yours, the new one. Yours. Of course you know me, Oren. You helped me deal with the Iron Crisis. You? Gods, I hardly recognized you. It's only been a couple of weeks. What are you doing here? How did you get in here, for that matter? Baldur's Gate. There's a small force of Flaming Fist mercenaries less than a day from here. The siege won't last much longer. Would you like to help me break it? Can you get me out of this bloody fort? Yes? Count me in. I'm trying to get the ingredients for a- Hey, I'm trying to talk here. For a potion that'll shut him the hells up! Oh my. What do you need? Let's see. Dead water from beneath Borskir Bridge. Got that already. The leg of a seven-legged spider. <laughs> I do have the leg of a, such a spider. I don't know why I've got it exactly, but I do. Take it, please. You'll be doing me a favor. I wouldn't touch a thing. It was, I think Rasad had that. Honestly, that is so, so great. I also need a feather from a planetar's wing, some belladonna, a potion of perception, and the juice of one turnip. Oh, I could have taken a potion of perception. I left it. I have none of those things, but I'll keep an eye out for them. I knew it was a long shot. Thanks. Oh, uh, sorry, Nira. What, you need to go to the camp, the Flaming Fist camp. You don't want me around anymore? Um, it's nothing personal, Nira. I'm just doing what's best for everyone. Just go to the camp. If you say so. Head to the camp. You should be safe there. Whatever you say. Yes? A simple matter. Oh. Who's this? Yeah. What can I do for you? 
Uncle Hooch, is that you? Oh, yeah. Reckon it is that. How you doing, nephew? Glint, you didn't tell me you had relatives in the fort. Oh, where's my head at? This is my Uncle Hooch Randy Monk. Uncle, this is the hero of Baldur's Gate. Is she now? Isn't that a thing? It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Pshaw, ain't no great thing meeting someone like me. Still and all, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some work to do. What sort of work do you do, Hoach? He's one of the greatest cobblers this side of Waterdeep. How have you been, Uncle? Mom's worried about you. Ah, uh, your mother just liked to worry, that's all. I'm stuck in this fort and all, but there's plenty got it worse than me. I'm fine. You tell your mother that when you get the chance. I'll do that, Uncle Hoach, and I'll come back and talk to you again soon if I get the chance. I think you mentioned you have a cobbler in the family before. Okay. A simple matter. So we're looking for a mage. This has got to be the mage. And I'll keep looking for the components for nearest potion. Go away! I'm busy here! Are you Wine and Hess, are you? Not? Khalid told me to seek you out regarding the fort's defenses. Oh, fine. Defenses. What have we got? Not much. A few fighters. Some mercenaries and guards. Most here are travelers trapped inside when the Crusade crossed the winding water. I maintain the wards that protect us from the Crusade's siege weapons. They... Wait. Another wizard is fighting me. I must concentrate. I need to... Damn it! Damn, 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 damn! Uh-oh. I can feel something's coming. Something big just hit us. Ugh. Something big just hit us and knocked me off my feet. Okay, past. I have to find what happened here. Something just crashed through the top of the fort. Let's go. Oh, some people are hurt. Someone help Lexa! She's beyond our help, son. What's going on here, Hess? You were supposed to protect us from this sort of attack. And I did. For as long as I could. The Crusade has mages too, you know. I couldn't maintain the red blooding wards. You'd have done no better. Well, forgive me, I shouldn't have distracted you. In truth, I probably couldn't have held the shield much longer anyways. The longer this mess lasts, the weaker I grow. There's nothing to be done about it now. Oh, I don't feel too well. I feel sick. Something strange is happening. What? What's happening? I, uh... It's the stone. There's an unnatural magical aura surrounding it. Down here, can you shed any light on what's going on here? This is dark magic. The stone's energy will grow, weakening the strong and striking down the weak. To save all souls in Bridgefort, we need the original Enchanter spell scroll. You've got to get into the Crusade camp and find that scroll. Without it, Bridgefort will surely fall. <sighs> I won't allow that to happen. You can count on me to get that scroll. Well, I will attempt to get the scroll and stay alive. Not necessarily in that order. Okay. There's no time to waste. I can feel the stone's magic moving through my body even as we speak. Go get the scroll. Save us all. Find the scroll. And return to me as quickly as you can. Okay. Sounds like we've got to get going immediately. Ah, it has been too long since Minsk journeyed with such a fine companion. Turning to the camp. Such menial task. They won't even know if we even left. But I don't remember... There's only one mage in there that I can remember. That one who who made the... Got the blessing from the gods. That's a priest, so... And I don't remember anybody else. So it's just that red wizard. And he was pretty far from the other crusaders. So let's go see what we can do. This might just work. If he stays put. We haven't been gone that long. An hour? Two? Ugh, I don't feel well at all. Such menial tasks. You again! 
What do you want now? Speak quickly. No time to waste on the likes of you. Um. Oh, you would happen to have a feather from a plantar's wing. Do you have such an item, or know where I might find one? And if I did, what business is that of yours? The gold business. I'd like to purchase it. Show me the gold. Here, take what you think it's worth. And here is your feather. Now, assuming there is nothing else I can do for you, be on your way. My work requires concentration. Are you the magician who designed the spell stone that's infecting the inhabitants of Bridgefort? You heard about that, did you? Yes, it was an enchantment of my design. Quite effective. The forts will fall in days, if not hours. Kalar should be well pleased with my efforts. Hmm. I need to know how to stop the stone's effects. You would see them stopped? Who are you, exactly? Hmm. I am Orin, hero of Baldur's Gate. Now tell me how to end the spell, or by the gods, I'll not be responsible for what happens to you. You should never have come here. Now you shall die. What is okay, it? kill him fast. Another try, I shall give. Yeah, he slowed, slowed half of the party. Well, at least I get my gold back. And a healing potion. This looks like a wand of paralyzation. I don't need that book. I'll probably put that away. I'll keep that up. Down here, can you identify this? Wand of paralyzation, she's the only one that can use it in the group. What about this short sword, this god game? A line of diamond-shaped mirrors run up the center of the short sword's blade. The smallest bit of light catches the mirrors, flashing and flickering as the wielder fights. Rumor has it that the blade was constructed by a particularly vain fighter from Sembia who later lost it in a duel. The fighter became distracted by his own reflection on in a nearby shot window and failed to parry his opponent's blow. Interesting. It's a short sword. We don't... I mean, Rasad has... He's a scimitars. He's the only one that could possibly even use it. Let's see if I can't sell it. So, this was his belongings. The mage. What does the scroll say? Arcane of scroll of impactful doom. Elaborate calligraphy inscribed by a careful hand cover the surface of this parchment. The words are a spell designed by Vikan, the red wizard of Thay. It allowed him to imbue certain base materials such as stone with illness inducing negative energy. The spell also enables its caster to remove those same qualities if they so desire. Okay, we have what we wanted. Let's go back. Slowly, apparently. Yeah. Okay, it's worn off. But I, s I still feel sick. You would think by getting away from the fort that you would feel better, but maybe once you're hit with it, that's it. A simple matter. Fine. Fine. You have the scroll? Here it is. Good, stand back. It is done. What was that scream? What is that? A dark wraith! Uh oh. Kill it, kill it fast. Thank the gods, we're saved. You did it. You may not be utterly useless after all. Well done. A simple matter. You did right by us. For that, I thank you. It was a privilege, sir. We're all in this together. You're right about that. I must continue fortifying our mystical defenses until we cross paths again. Farewell. Such menial tasks. Oh, what? They're... Fine. They have a cleric to deal with the dead here. These three people lost their lives. I've got to find this hill carver. Fine. A blacksmith? Well, this person's in front of a forge. Hey there, I heard you saved us all from certain deaths. Suppose I'm obliged to you for that. Is there anything I can do for you? Weapons you need? Armor? Um, Khalid sent me to talk to you about the fort's supplies. 
Right, well, we've got plenty of food down here, as well as sundries, blankets, lamp oil, that sort of thing. I can see why the Crusade wants their mitts on it. Wouldn't, would let them run more soldiers onto the field. Uh, I prefer not to fight more soldiers if I don't have to. I'd really prefer fighting fewer soldiers. Aye, if the Crusade gets in here, we'd be better off destroying the supplies and letting them have it. Uh, a devious plan, I like it. If you get the Crusade to let us go, I'll see to it the perishables are destroyed. We'll leave some crates, make it look good, but they won't be happy with their haul. Oh, but I don't plan on surrendering, but I'll keep your words in mind. Go on then, I've got work to do. Um, so I have a few things. Could you make anything with a rhino beetle's shell? I should be able to do something with it. A shield, certainly. Maybe some plate armor. Which would you prefer? Oh, um, definitely some plate armor. Now, give me a few hours. I'll have something for you then. Here you are then. It's not pretty, but the shell's very light and hard to pierce. Maybe it help you on your journey. Okay, we also have these dragon scales. Can you... What can you make with these dragon scales? Anything? Those are some fine scales, no doubt of that. What sort of item were you thinking? A shield? Maybe a suit of armor? Another suit. Uh, a suit of dragon scale armor. Now give me a few hours. I'll have something for you then. It's ready, and a finer piece of work I've not done. Take it, and may it protect you in your travels. Thank you very much. Rhino Beetle Plate. Constructed from a Rhino Beetle's sturdy shell, this armor offers its wear excellent protection without impeding their motion to the same extent as traditional metal plate mail. The unusual material makes this suit of armor particularly effective against missile weapons. That actually sounds really good for... For, um... For Minsk. This has to be identified. Acid arrow. Huh. No, it's great. It's great armor. Um, hmm. We could probably sell this stuff then. How about these? this dragon scale armor? The shimmering Viridian suit of leather armor is soft and su supple despite the strength in the plates of green dragon scale. The wearer of this armor is protected from even the heavy blows as well as from poison. I wonder if I can wear this. Oh. Well, now I blend in more with the forest, being green and all. Hmm. Well, we can sell this. Is, can anybody else in the group wear this? Probably not. We can just sell this. This is really nice and comfortable armor. Okay, so we've got a lot of things to sell. We'll sell and then see what else we can do here at the fort. 